Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. This video is for the beginners who are actually new uh, to the Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this video, I'm just going to tell you how to get the best view of the heads-up display in the 787. Uh, first of all, I would just like to tell you that you can increase and decrease the brightness of the heads-up display by pulling out this button and then just moving it towards left or anti-clockwise to reduce the brightness of the heads-up display and towards your right or clockwise in order to have more brightness. So this is how you can adjust it and then you can push it back once again. Now um, you can change the view uh, within the cockpit you, with your different controllers. So uh, in this video I will not be talking about a controller uh, but I will tell you a shortcut key uh, for the keyboard. Uh, so it's very simple. If you press alternate and uh, you press the forward button, you can see, you can zoom in and then you can adjust the view by pressing left and right key. So it's very simple. So if you go out, go back, as you can see, now the complete information is not coming in the heads up display. Uh, so you can press alternate and then forward key in order to adjust the zoom level of the heads up display. Uh, this shortcut key can also be used to zoom in and zoom out of the cockpit or move around in the cockpit, as you can see. So keep on pressing the alternate button and uh, then forward and backward button on your keyboard. So it's easy to do it. Another thing, if you just have observed that if I press left or if I press the right key, you can see, you know, the, the movements are not subtle. They're big jumps in the view. So it's get, it gets a bit difficult to, you know, get it right in the center. So for this, it's a very easy trick, as you can do it over here. I simply go to this camera option, and over here you can reduce the speed of the free look. So if I bring it down to 17, now you can see the movements are slightly subtle. And if you... Just bring it to 10, then, you know, it's smooth. Then there are slight movements, not very huge movements. But with this, uh, your look around speed will be reduced. If you do it with the mouse, then it's slow. Then it's totally up to you whether you want to do it or not. Otherwise, I'm okay with this. And I just adjust it like this and I can then bring it back. So this is how you can get uh, the best view. Oh, sorry, it's not the zoom level. Okay, so this is how you can get the best view uh, of the heads-up display in the Boeing 787. So this was a short video for the beginners. I hope uh, this video will help you in uh, getting the best view during your flights. With this, if you've got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.